Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Wednesday, August 30th, 2017. And this is an update on my exchanges with Mr. Curious Unknown. Now, as you can see, three days ago, Mr. Curious Unknown came over and posted an apology under one of my videos. He states, I should offer an apology. I am only human. I make mistakes. I just learned. I'm humbly saying I got distracted and I fell. I apologize with all sincerity. How can we mend the fence? I want to see things clearly. I'm a fool to be so stubborn. Thanks to everybody who put me in my place. Now at the time I believed that that was a sincere apology and you can see my reply. Thank you Mr. Curious Unknown. I've always said that I will always meet someone halfway if I believe they are sincere. It would be great if we could mend fences. You ask how? I sincerely invite you to a hangout so we can respectfully discuss what we are seeing in your videos. It is not about humiliating you, it is about looking at what we are seeing and trying to put some tests in place and coming to the correct conclusions and educating people about what they are really seeing. If you prefer, I would be happy to talk with you privately first so that you know that I am sincere and that I am going to treat you with respect. Mr. Curious Unknown, despite what some people say about me, I too am a Christian which is why I don't use the filthy language that many others do. Yes, sadly, including some of my supporters. I have no problem with your faith or your preaching. I just don't want to see people misled, even if unintentionally, by thinking lens flares, clouds and shadows, etc. are something to be alarmed about. Red skies are nothing new. Jesus spoke about people being able to predict the weather based on the red sky in the evening or morning, and that was 2,000 years ago. Let's get together and have a friendly, respectful discussion and see if we can mend those fences and find some common ground. You might be pleasantly surprised. I followed up two days ago and asked, Mr. Curious Unknown, are you available to catch up soon to talk, either privately or in a hangout, or I can give you a phone call if you prefer. Mr. Curious Unknown replied, Dazza the cameraman, I don't even have a computer to do a Google Hangout. I can set something up to be at a friend's house one day this week. Please email me, Mr. Curious Unknown at Gmail, and I will talk to you from there for now. I owe you an apology for sure, and I want to say that first. I replied, thank you, Mr. Curious, I'll email you. After I emailed him, I let him know that I had emailed him. One day ago, I followed up and said, Mr. Curious Unknown, did you receive my email? I haven't heard anything back from you. Maybe it is in your spam folder. You asked how we can mend the fence. Talking directly is a good start. And that brings us to today. And you can see that I posted a comment under that, which is a result of what happened next. But before we look at that, let's just verify that these comments are actually by Mr. Curious Unknown because there are a lot of fake accounts around. So I'm going to hover on Mr. Curious Unknown and you can see that it is his channel with 824 subscribers and 320 videos. Let's click on the link and see where it takes us. There we go. It's Mr. Curious Unknown's channel. So this proves that these comments were by Mr. Curious Unknown. Let's look at the other ones, verify each important one, and sure enough, they're all Mr. Curious Unknown. So this brings us to what happened earlier today. I saw that Mr. Curious Unknown was live streaming, so I went over to his channel to ask him in the chat if he had received my email. I posted a couple of comments asking and saw that I was getting no response, so I figured that he must still have me blocked as as the cameraman. So I changed over to my secondary arena account and also posted questions and again got no response. So then I switched over to my personal Dave Gregg Google Plus account and again asked a question. Now we're going to see what happened next. So this can Mind you, that is the West. So 
So that's east. <clears throat> hey there, babe. Sorry I kind of walk out on you. Beethoven, guys, Beethoven. I ain't got a Bible on me currently, but I know who you are. Not doing this. Uh, yeah, that happened. Now when Mr. Curious Unknown said, not doing this, what he meant was, he was going to block me, and that's what he did. He blocked me immediately, and those last two comments that you saw where I asked him if he had received my email, did not actually post. I checked by reopening the page in another tab, and my comments were not visible. Now in this next part we see Mr. Curious Unknown looking at the red sky again and looking at the clouds and making his usual comments about what he is seeing. Anybody else see that? I see it. But that's cool. Don't have to believe me that it came in from over there. Don't gotta believe me that it's right there. I'm full of crap and I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't come prepared. I don't study to show myself approved. Nope, not at all. I'm not obedient. Don't like to listen. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record the next bit. I had stopped the recorder after I saw that I was blocked. But Mr. Curious Unknown did actually start to read the passage of scripture that I had asked him to read, which was Matthew 16. 1 to 3. Unfortunately, he only read verse 1 and stopped there. He did not read verses 2 and 3. If he had read verses 2 and 3, he might have understood why I wanted him to read that verse. Let's take a look at those verses now. Matthew 16, verses 1 to 3. The Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and tested him by asking him to show them a sign from heaven. This is where Mr. Curious Unknown stopped reading. I guess maybe he thought I was comparing him to a Pharisee and a Sadducee. That wasn't my point. Verses 2 and 3 are my point. Jesus replied, When evening comes, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, today it will be stormy, for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. And of course my whole point was this, for the sky is red. And how long ago was this written? These words of Jesus were written 2,000 years ago. My point is that there is nothing unusual or wrong about seeing a red sky, either in the evening or in the morning, as described here. When evening comes, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red, and in the morning, today, it will be stormy, for the sky is red and overcast. There is nothing unusual or wrong about seeing a red sky at sunset or sunrise. That was the point of me asking you, Mr. Curious Unknown, to read Matthew 16 verses 1 to 3. My point is that even 2,000 years ago, People were seeing red skies in the evening and in the morning, and it is perfectly normal. Mr. Curious Unknown, it's very disappointing for me that although you posted what I thought was a sincere apology, it seems that you were not sincere after all. You asked how we could mend the fence, 
and you asked me to email you, which I did, and you have not responded to my email, and you have not responded to my invitation to do a live hangout or to even speak to me privately so that you would know that I'm sincere. I don't know, maybe somebody got to you, maybe you've bowed to the pressure that you've been under from your subscribers and viewers against Dazza the cameraman, but if you came and talked to me, you would know that I am sincere and that I would treat you with respect because I've always said, if somebody is prepared to meet me halfway, I will always treat them with respect. It disappoints me too that this is the only way that I'm left to respond to you is with response videos because you've blocked me on your channel and I can't speak to you directly that way. So this is why I post this video. I hope that you will try to listen to reason and, as you say, humble yourself and uh, come and talk to me. Let's take a look at your videos and see if we can find some common ground. Why is it that you fear doing that, Mr. Curious Unknown? I hope that you will accept my invitation to talk directly and that maybe we can mend some fences, but that really comes down to your choice. I don't study to show myself approved. Nope, not at all. I'm not obedient. Don't like to listen. Thank you for watching.